Hello everyone, it's Jeff at MacroMonster.com and I want to show you an interesting new update in eCut as of October 2019 which gives you some manual control over route optimization. So what does that mean? Basically if I select all of these shapes and run eCut using the single icon launch method where I launch the entire main toolbar you can find the route optimizer under this section here. What we're looking at with the little red lines is the path that the tool head will take for your device, whether it's a vinyl cutter or a CNC machine. I'm just going to hide the shapes for a moment. And it's a little bit chaotic there. And what I'm going to do is simply hit apply. And this would be the automated, the way that your automated method for eCut to cut it. However, you can manually control this a couple of different ways. If we go to this drop down here we have some choices here and what you can do is hold down the control key draw some lines like this across your shapes hit apply and eCut will then cut those shapes based on what you've done there. Another way to do it is by choosing manual and with this method, is if you hold control, you can actually draw using your mouse which shapes you want eCut to cut first in your job. You can see how the red line updates behind the scenes to follow along. All right, so hopefully that's an interesting new feature and it might be incredibly valuable for your needs. And the whole point of uh, route optimization is so that your machine is used in the most effective way. It uh, just saves your, the life of your machine, makes the job run more efficiently, decreases errors in potential artwork as well, because if the head of your machine has to go all the way across the artwork to cut something, and then all the way back to the close to the origin point of the first shape, the registration tolerances uh, may be a little off if it has to go all the way back to the front of a piece of vinyl compared to the end part of the job, etc. So if you've done any kind of work with CNC or uh, vinyl cutting, you'll know what I'm talking about, that you know it's, it's a mechanical process that the tolerances can vary a little bit there. So you always want your machine to work in the most efficient way it can.